Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're talking about something that is kind of tangential to game development, but it's about Unreal Engine, so I definitely figured I should cover it. And that is Unreal Studios Beta has been extended, and that also includes a really cool free offer. So, uh, without further ado, let's jump in. We're first going to explain exactly what Unreal Studio is is and then we'll talk about the beta details now unreal studio itself obviously i will throw all these links down below so don't worry about what the urls we're looking at are unreal studio is a workflow process of unreal engine for cad designers movie manufacturing those kind of things basically they're trying to bring the real world rendering technology of unreal engine to marketplaces other than game development and we've saw something very recently that really illustrated where Unreal Engine can be used outside of gaming, and that is these videos. If you saw any of the uh, hurricane coverage, you saw some really cool use of um, augmented reality for them to illustrate how the current hurricane has, you know, how it would be played out. And this was all done using Unreal Engine. And these are the kind of people that Unreal Engine or Unreal Studio is targeting. So it's not your traditional game developers. It's more people like... Um, architects that are trying to do visualization of a project they're working on, manufacturers that want to show off a product they created, or uh, TV news networks that want to do real-time augmented reality shows showing their uh, newscasters about to get flooded in a hurricane. So that is the segment that Unreal Engine is going after, and they're doing it via Unreal Studio. Now, the cool thing about Unreal Studio is right now it is in a free beta, and on the topic of that beta, it brings us to our news. So what has happened is uh, Unreal Studio Beta has just been extended out. And this is, it's extended for quite a while. It's into September of 2019. So here, we're pleased to announce that the free beta period has been extended to September of 2019. So they're going to be running this in beta for another full year. So you can continue to use it completely for free for another full year. On top of that, this one is really quite cool. Furthermore, any version of Unreal Studio you download during the beta period will continue to be free to use even after the beta ends. So you can use the beta can freak in production well past the end of the beta. So um, if you are trying to hook up into the use this in your pipeline, in your production pipeline, it's a great time to get on board because free is definitely a nice thing. So what exactly is this? How is this different from Unreal Engine? What is Unreal Studio as opposed to Unreal? Unreal Engine. Well, it's still Unreal Engine to be honest. It's got some extensions to it. The biggest one here is DataSmith. Now, um, DataSmith is pretty much the pipeline tool for bringing in uh, kind of formats that you wouldn't normally use in game development. So you can see it brings in SketchUp Pro, 3D Studios Max, Rhino 3D, SolidWorks, Katia, uh, Siemens, Siemens NX, Creo, uh, Inventor, and other file formats including GBF, UNV, X underscore TRF, FBX, GLTF, IGIS, Step, JT, SAT, and 3D XM. And if you're looking at a lot of these formats saying, okay, well, what the heck are those formats? Well, a lot of them are from products like Pro Engineer or Katia, which are design tools for creating um, in the engineering field, for basically project engineers create new things. So, for example, when I worked in the automotive industry, when we design, when we design a new piece or part, it would be done in Pro E or Katia. That, that's where the 3D models for things that are actually going to be produced or manufactured in the Real world are modeled. So if you are a car manufacturer, you could bring in your engineering samples directly into um, Unreal Studio and you know render your car in real time. Um, so that's what it is. It's all about bringing in these various different formats. So how do you go about getting it? Well, unfortunately, I can't show you this easily uh, because I already went through the process. So once you've done it, the form doesn't show the same. But you'll see here on the main link, you basically just say, get the free beta now. Now you'll notice I am already logged into my, uh, my account for Unreal Engine. Otherwise, you're going to have to sign up and create an Unreal Engine account. But once you go ahead, click this, it's going to bring you to a form. You say, yeah, I want to be in part of the beta. And then it's part of the, um, Oh, what the heck is it called? The Epic Game Launcher, which is going to be kind of funny for people working in engineering offices to run the same thing you use to run Fortnite. But essentially, that's what it is. And you fire up the uh, Epic Game Launcher like so. When you're in the beta, you will see down here that it's uh, Unreal Studio Beta is currently active. And then you go down to your library. 
your marketplace and you will see that it's actually just implemented as plugins directly into your normal uh, Unreal Engine install. So you, you'll have to install a version of Unreal Engine. As you see, I've got the most current as of the time of the video installed. And then the beta, I can basically just grab the uh, exporter plugins right here. Or I can grab Datasmith, that's the piece that brings in all of those various different file formats we just mentioned, and I can install it directly into the engine. At this point in time, um, it basically just turned Unreal Engine into Unreal Studio. So it's just a version of Unreal Engine with these extra tools on top. Uh, but the cool thing is with this new announcement, the beta is going to go for another full year from today, and then you have kind of an ongoing license for any version of the beta up to the end of the beta to continue to use past the end of the beta's time. Now, again, this is not going to be incredibly relevant to uh, game developers because you're still generally going to be using Unreal Engine. And the kind of formats that Datasmith brings in are not optimized towards real-time uh, performance. They're huge on the most of the times. But if you're in uh, production, manufacturing, or you're making... Uh, film or an architect or doing a presentation type stuff, this is a big deal. And as you saw from that semi-viral um, weather network video, our Unreal Engine is moving into new markets at an aggressive pace. And Unreal Studio is how they're going about doing it. So uh, that is the extension of the Unreal Studio beta out until September of 2019. Cool stuff, cool opportunity there, and it's cool that you can use it in production ongoing for free after the beta ends. All right, that's it. Again, check for all the links down below if you want to learn more. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.